And how's it going YouTube? It's your boy Salmon Sauce. And today I'm gonna be showing you guys how to make the best stretch for it in 2K21. A lot more people want to make a stretch 4 in 2K21 because of how hard it is to shoot in this game. So making a stretch 4 is really the only way that you're going to be able to stretch the floor at this position. You gotta go with the pie chart with the biggest green section. You want to be as good at shooting as possible. You always want to be good at the hardest thing to do in the game and in this 2K it's shooting. Last 2K when everyone was good at scoring you had to make a lockdown because defense was harder. For this year, you have to pick shooting because shooting is harder. For physical profile, we're gonna scroll down and pick the second to last one where it's split between agility and vertical. Strength is not important in this game. It makes almost no difference. You need agility for basically every build in this game and you want vertical because you still wanna be able to go up and grab rebounds with this build. So this is how you wanna have the attributes set up. You want to put close shot all the way up to 83, driving layup all the way up to 62, driving dunk all the way up to 58, and put your standing dunk at a 40. Your attributes are just barely high enough for you to get standing dunk animations, and you get one finishing badge. But that's fine because we're going to be scoring from the perimeter with this build, so we don't need to be worried about finishing badges. Then for shooting, you want to max out your mid-range 3-point shot and free throw. If you don't play rec, you can honestly take off free throw because you don't need free throw if you only play park. But I like to play rec more than I like to play park, so I'm going to put my free throw up. But you could definitely put it on post fade instead if you only play park. So your shooting attributes are really high and you get 26 shooting badges, so you're going to have no trouble shooting at all with this build. Then you want to max out your pass accuracy to 71 and your ball handle to a 58 and then put your post moves to a 34 just to get a couple more playmaking badges and you finish with 5. This is good because you could maybe put on unpluckable bronze, maybe you could put on quick first step gold which is the best badge in this game. And you could even put on break starter bronze. So five playmaking badges is perfect for this build. You're not going to be dribbling around too much, but that quick first step is definitely going to help you get around a lot more defenders. You have to be good on defense with this build, so you have to max out your interior defense, your perimeter defense, and your lateral quickness. Then only put your steal at a 35, max out your block to a 73, max out offensive rebound to a 59, and max out defensive rebound to a 76. Now look, you finish off with 8 defensive badges, which is going to make you really good on defense. Then for the body shape, it doesn't matter, pick whichever you want. For the height, you don't want it to be too short, but you do want to lower it to 6'8". I wouldn't suggest going down to 6'7", because then your rebounding is going to take way too big of a hit. But going down by 1 inch definitely helps with your shooting and your speed, which are both very important. And your ball control also goes up by 5. I would put the weight at exactly 187 pounds. This is also going to make you way faster and even better of a finisher. For the wingspan, this is actually going to surprise some of you, but I'm going to say put the wingspan all the way up. The biggest reason you want to do this is because of how much it helps your block and your rebounding. It does take 4 off of your mid-range and 3-point shot, but that's okay because you have 26 shooting badges. And if you have a teammate who has Hall of Fame Floor General on and you go get skill boosts, that's going to give you a plus 9 to your shooting attributes. So don't worry about making the wingspan higher. Your shooting is not going to be affected negatively at all. And then for takeover, you want to get the spot-up shooter because that's what this player is best at doing. Oh, yes! So now here's what you want to do with the badges on this build. My suggestion for your one finishing badge would be to do Pro Touch. Don't put Giant Slayer on because most centers in this game are about the same size as this stretch for. Most people are making 6869 centers. So Giant Slayer is not going to help this build. So go with Pro Touch or maybe Consistent Finisher if you're not good at timing your layups. This is how I would set up the shooting badges on this build. Range extender is absolutely necessary on any shooting build, so you have to max that out. Green machine and hot zone hunter are the best for making you make a lot more of your shots, especially once you get hot zones for hot zone hunter. I wouldn't put that on if you don't have hot zones yet. You could maybe do difficult shots or slippery off ball instead until you get hot zones. Dead eye is another huge one. You gotta have dead eye on. And then catch and shoot because a lot of the shots we're going to be taking with this build are going to be catch and shoot threes. 
and then volume shooter which is just going to help you make more and more of your shots as you shoot more throughout the game and since most of the shots we're going to be taking with this build are jump shots you definitely want to have the volume shooter badge on and then i threw on the last two points on corner specialist this is always a really good and reliable badge. Corner threes are always important and this badge also helps you from the mid range as well. This is how you should set up the playmaking badges. You gotta put unpluckable on because you don't want to lose the ball. This build is also going to be good at rebounding so you want to put the break starter badge on to help get those deep outlet passes through. And then quick first step just feels like it's the best badge in this game. This badge helps you blow by any defender. This badge gives you such a massive speed boost that every single build in this game should have this badge on all the way up. This is how you want to set up the defensive badges. So rebounding is super important so you want to put that all the way up and then bronze box is going to help you get even more rebounds. So you want to be versatile on defense with this build. So you want to put on intimidator on bronze and clamps on bronze which is going to help you guard the perimeter. And then you want to put rim protector on silver to help you guard the paint. So with these badges, you basically turn into a really good shooter and you can play really good defense with only 8 badges. You can guard multiple positions, especially because we didn't make you too tall and too slow, but you're still big enough to guard some of the bigger guys too. I hope you guys found this build video helpful. I still have two more build videos in mind. One of them is a 3 and D small forward and the other one is a speed boosting defensive center, as well as the how to pull the chair video. So make sure you guys subscribe and stay tuned for that. Turn on notifications so you don't miss it. Make sure you leave a like. But that's all for today. I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you all for watching and have a splendid day. Hey!